Hello guys, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily set up who can call you on Telegram. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes. And of course, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin and first open up Telegram app. Then get into settings where you can easily find privacy and security. Just tap on that. On that step you can easily find right in privacy a box the calls option. Here it is. You can tap on that to open up calls settings and uh, right here towards the very top of the screen located who can call me uh, feature and you now can change that settings. You can switch it from everybody to my contacts or to nobody. The default is my contacts and now you can customize it by adding an exceptions. There are two different list of uh, persons. So the first is never allow and the second one is always allow. You can add any persons to uh, that groups in that simple way. You can just tap on that and then check mark some users whom you want to add to that list. Also you can use search box to search for some specific user and uh, once you finished with that you can hit on done to add some persons to uh, never allow or to always allow exceptions list. So as for now anyone from your contacts except these four specific users are able to call you on Telegram. You can also switch this option to everybody but I not recommend you to do so because you may start getting a lot of uh, spam calls. Uh, also you can switch this option to nobody and then add uh, some exceptions to always allow list. So uh, let's say you want to get calls from your family, from your wife or brother, sister, from your kids, uh, from your close friends and then you can add those persons in the same way and then hit on done. So uh, since that time only the people whom you trust a lot may call you on Telegram. As you can see there are a lot of users here. As for now that's because I have added here a group. So uh, when you add a group to exceptions list you actually add all that group members to that exceptions list. You can remove that group from that list and as you can see there are three users now at always allow exceptions list. Now you can write down in the comments below if you have any questions about that tutorial and also I recommend you to check out my telegram tutorials playlist which you can easily find in the description. Hit the like button if you like that video and uh, see you in the next one.